Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to completely control your Android device using only your eyes. Now this would probably be most useful if you have mobility impairments, because it'll let you control your entire phone just by moving your head. But it's an interesting app no matter why you might use it, so I thought I'd give you guys a rundown. The app itself is called EVA Facial Tracker, and it's available for free on the Google Play Store. So the first thing you'll need to do is get it installed, obviously, but beyond that, setup is kind of complicated. First, it asks you to enable the accessibility service, so press OK and follow the prompts to do that. Next, head back to the app, then accept the license agreement and give it the permissions it needs if you're running Android Marshmallow or higher. After that, you'll get this setup wizard. I'd say not to skip this. So press next and it'll kind of walk you through a few things. But then when you get to this keyboard screen, you're going to have to do some digging in settings. So tap the settings button, then it'll be a little bit different depending on your device. But basically, what you want to do is enable EVA's keyboard plugin, then set it as your default keyboard. So for most people, you should go to the language and input menu, then open the current keyboard option and select choose keyboard. For newer devices like this Pixel though, go to this virtual keyboards menu, then press manage keyboards. From here, regardless of your Android version, enable the EVA keyboard entry, then press OK when prompted. After that, most folks can just hit your back button one time, then select current keyboard and set it to EVA. But if your phone doesn't have that option, the easiest way to do it is to just tap any text input field. From there, you'll see a little keyboard icon either in your status bar or your navigation bar. If it's in your status bar, tap the notification. If it's in the nav bar, just tap the icon. Finally, choose EVA keyboard from the list, then this part of setup is all done. But there's still a little bit more work to do, so open your recent apps menu, then look for the one labeled EVA wizard. That might pop you back into the settings menu where you left off, but if it does, just tap your back button a couple times until you're back in the setup wizard. Now from here, tap next, then EVA will try to detect your face using the selfie camera. You can see a little preview of what it sees at the top of your screen. So try to get the phone at a comfortable distance where your face takes up a good chunk of that frame. Once you do that, it'll say face detected. And when you see that, you can go ahead and press next. From here, you'll see a mouse pointer on the screen. This is how you interact with the phone using only your face. When you move, it moves and it does a really good job. But depending on your phone, you might need to calibrate it to make it more or less responsive. That's what these buttons are for. So play around with those until you think it feels the way it should. Once you're done with that, you'll get a guided tour of how to navigate your phone's UI using the mouse pointer and the head tracking software. It's pretty straightforward, so have a look at this, but I'll go ahead and skip through so I can show you myself. Now the basic controls are pretty simple. You move your head to move the mouse, but when you want to interact with something on the screen, you just pause and let the pointer hover on it for a second. Once you do that, it'll ask if you want it to click or long click. So hover the mouse pointer over whichever one you wanted. Then you'll notice a little overlay on the side of your screen. This is for navigating through your phone's UI. The buttons over here work just the same, so hover to click or long click. It'll also show you some scroll buttons when you're on a scrollable page, so there's almost nothing you can't do with this interface. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.